Tell me three things you have to invest in if you're a barbershop owner. Can't be serious, Pete. That's a stupid what? question. That's not you need that. chairs, you need barbers, and you also need a shop. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm just fucking with you, man. I got you. Yeah, hope so. Number one, invest in continuing education. At 12 Pell, we got a no barber left behind policy. What that means is that we hold every barber to the same standards. Because if one barber in your shop looks bad, every barber looks bad. So make sure you keep all your barbers as sharp as your scissors. I like that. I like that. Number two, you got to invest in team bonding. If these guys don't fuck with each other in the shop. How are they supposed to give great service? If you got that hostility and that energy between the barbers, you got to make sure that everybody likes everybody. And yes, we all don't like Peter, but we still got to get along with him. <clears throat> Not true, but what's the third one now? And number three, you got to be willing to invest in resources for your team. Whether it be the hardware, like cameras and lighting, or the software, like Squire. You got to give your barbers all the tools that they need so that they can do their job efficiently and effectively, and they can just focus on doing what they do best, which is cutting hair behind the chair. Hell yeah, those are all great tips. If you guys found this video helpful, this is three tips on how we grew our business at 12 Pell. Throw us a follow if you want to see more of this.